Okay, so we got warps. There's an area down there. Is there a map out here? No, there's just a map down here. Oh, there's a lot going on. I don't like this map. I like simple maps. I like easy maps. Um... Okay, so that's gonna hit us right into that. I don't like any of these. I mean, they put a dash pad so you can, like, ramp over? But then how do you get back? The war panels just point at each other. How in the world are you supposed to progress around this map? Well, I suppose I could just bounce back and forth and kill the two of these guys. And then we ramp over? I still have UFO, but I'm gonna lose it immediately. Because I have to kill these two guys. And then what do I want? Do I want spike or ice? Which one do I want more? I feel like it almost doesn't matter. I get to enter the next level with kind of whatever ability I want, though. I say it, I don't think it really matters which one, because ice will stop me dead. But somehow I don't think I'm going to be going, like, so fast that I will need to. Um, ice will help me not get over the... Well, it'll help me get over the water. But I feel like if I fall into the water, it's kind of whatever. I'll just shoot myself out of it. Like, I feel like icing on the water is not going to help me when I have to get an air shot to go over that anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now we just go full speed right into you, and see where we end up. That's a shot. That what?! Okay, good shot. Oh, look at that crap! Heck yeah! Alright, now to not do this correct at all. Is that enough to hit him? No. Can't be. That'll hit him. And then it'll get me over there, at least. I feel like at this point it's easy enough. Don't do anything tricky, just... Shoot. If I remove just a little bit more, I could probably hit two of them in one go, but I don't think I can. Unless I'm lined up better for fire. And I am not. Okay, so let's just do this and then we'll at least get over there. Quite what I wanted. If I have the option, I want to end with fire. So if I just full speed this way, that'll get me like near it, right? Then I'll just friggin' bounce me, bounce me good.
Oh, I was afraid that was too much force. Hole 7, though. And we got fire going into hole 8. Doesn't matter what we have going into hole 8, because this is amazing one way or the other. This is amazing to do in one shot if you can. I'm not sure I can. Okay, so there's the warp panel up there. Where's that warp panel take you? There's two warp panels here. One warp panel at the end. This one at the end probably takes you there. So I got a tree in my way. If I had kept electricity, I could just plow right through that tree. But I think what I want to do instead is shoot over the tree. So this is cool, because if you can do it, this is like one amazing shot to get through this entire stage. So you're going to have to shoot over the tree to hit Tornado. Hit Tornado immediately, so you go over the spikes. Then you get ice, and you use ice almost immediately, so you hit this booster, freeze the ice. Get stone, use stone almost immediately, so you fall down, get wheel. Use wheel almost immediately, so you shoot across the water here. Then you get fire. Wheel hits the barrier and bounces in the air. As it bounces in the air, hit fire which will shoot you this way and get UFO. Use the UFO immediately and you can just cruise down, kill all three of them, hopefully make all your make your way up all the way here to get high jump. Get close enough to the tree, high jump over it, hit the ground, bounce into rock. Oh, so there's also another trick. Um, if you're moving really fast when you use... Whenever you use UFO, it actually retains your speed. If you fireball into UFO and then use UFO immediately, you're going to be booking. Well, this is going to be horrible, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, we're moving fast enough. Of course! Not my first attempt, but I couldn't just leave you guys without getting that hole in one. I don't even know that guy's name. I want to call them, like, the Snow Bros, but that's not it. Oh, 
Congratulations, you got a medal on all the courses. Go to the title screen and look at the menu. <laughs> Go to the title screen and look at the menu. Well, I can't without resetting the game. So let's go DDD some DDD. I don't have no idea what this is going to happen. It's like kind of a boss fight. Final boss of the game. I have no idea what I'm in for. Okay, so I just want to... Every hit is full power. And you want to not get hit by those. So we are doing damage. He's coming at us. Right in the forehead. So they gave us two lives, but it was kind of just two hits. I don't know why there are different shots. I suppose the shot through the air leaves you gone for longer, so it makes it easier for you to avoid getting hit by the dudes. Supposedly, you could, or theoretically anyway, you could like turn and shoot at the dudes, but I feel like that's kind of a waste of time. That's a good game though. That's a good game. I feel like it could use a little bit of the modern conveniences, or uh, the conveniences afforded by more modern mini-golf games, such as being able to better tell where your shot's going to go at different powers. Um... Because that, that is something that a lot of them do. While you're, like, looking at the... at your shot, it automatically shows you how far it will go at full power. And then there's, like, a toggle you can do that pulls back your power and pulls back how far it can show. And then, of course, like, whenever you're going over a hill or out of water or whatever, it just doesn't even bother showing you where you're going after that. I did think it did some good, and for a Super Nintendo game, this may have been about all the more the technology could have afforded them. Since that's like, they kind of have to predict the shot. That's not an especially easy thing to do. That was Kirby's Dream Course, though. And that's an, that's an alright game. That's an all right game. So title screen, anything new? Was demo play here before? Demo play. Okay, so I'm not actually- I'm not controlling, this is just them showing you how UFO works. Was this here before? Oh, 
Oh, you can just cancel it whenever? Heck, I wish I'd known that. What is this? What is this? Is it ice? It's freeze! That looks like sleep! That doesn't look like freeze! It was nice later on when they added an actual skating in for Kirby, though. We. Well, that's neat, and they got them all here. We've seen all of these, right? Um, okay, so these are the abilities down here. These are probably just going to be... I wonder where they grade them out. Do I get something if I watch all of them? So these are probably other demos. I wonder what they are. I didn't learn nothing because I'm watching them out of order. Show off. Friggin' show off! What kind of BS is that? You shut up! You shut up! Well, I watched all of them. And it has done nothing. My only option is still play course. Which just takes me back here. So I guess that's it. Yep, that takes us back there. There is... there is co-op, and I know some people have been interested in seeing that. I don't know if I'm going to show it off or not. We'll see what I can rope over into. But that is it for now. I will say until next time everyone, uh, when we start up a new Kirby game.